What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What Are They Cooking? The series where we feature all the craziest replays submitted by the audience. Uh, as always, if you have a replay you'd like to see in one of these episodes, you can post it in the Discord link in the description. Just go to the Edison Format Replays channel. Now, starting off here with uh, with Guardian of Order Turbo, which uh, I actually was messing around trying to make Guardian of Order work, but I couldn't find a build that I liked, so maybe... Maybe this build will contain some potential inspiration here. You can see right off the bat we're playing Luminous Spark. <laughs> Which... <laughs> okay. Uh, all light monsters gain 500 attack. That's... That's a something. That's something. Alright, we're setting Raikou. So we had some charge recharges. We have four light swords in the grave on turn one. We're kind of killing it. The opponent opens Solex sub, which isn't bad, but they don't have a lot of gas... They could potentially answer our JD, though. Uh, that's, let's see what we can do. We go Judgment Dragon. The dupes are going to float into just more Swap Frogs, probably. Yep. So, let's see. We activate the Luminous Spark. All right, so now the JD is 3,500. <laughs> We're going to swing in with the 1,600 Honest and the 3,500 JD. We're going to go End Phase Mill 4 here. Also, it seems that we are on Dasher, which is <laughs> just incredibly based, actually. And we're going to Mill Wolf. All right. So, they're going to Black Rose us. No, they're going to Brio? My dude, my god, what? <laughs> okay, wait, they want to take the JD? That's so greedy, though. Look at how many cards this used. All right, well, they can do a bunch of damage. End phase mill four. We got Sidra Tribute Summon Gragonith. It's, it gets boosted by its own effect, so 300 for each Light Sworn, which is... With different names, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get seven with different names. And then it gets boosted by 500 by Luminous Spark. Okay, right, we just have Lethal with Honest. All right, so they're just dead to freaking Gragoneth with Luminous Spark and Honest. <laughs> Dang, we can, we can hit some crazy high attack values in this build, actually. Um, all right. So we're, we're opening once again with, with spell cards, which is, uh, I mean, double recharge. That feels pretty good. We're going to summon Arcus, set to pass, end phase. We mill a wolf, but that gets DD Crowed. Opponent going to upstart. Wolf getting DD Crowed, though, isn't terrible in this situation because we kind of just milled it for free there. They're going to attack into the Arcus. We don't have Honest to protect. They crow our Garoth, so we don't have enough Light Sworn names, I guess. So no JD going to be dropped just yet. Interesting to see that we're playing all these back row, like... D prison and starlight road it's a lot of traps for light sworn you would think uh all right so they're just going for substitute main two here do we have jd live we have four names so we can drop that judgment dragon in fact we might want to just flip up cold wave and do just that t-roar gonna be chained okay we summon lumina it looks like we're not dropping jd just yet we're just gonna go end phase mill they they can't set that card they they should not have been able to set that card because they're under a threatening roar ah they're probably gonna use the threatening roar too they're probably they're probably gonna use the threatening roar. Game state ruined. What can I say? I guess they would have probably. No wait. Yeah, they should have just died. Like, they should have. Okay, they they chained the Geki break, so they're not just dead. But on the other hand, they shouldn't have had this threatening roar to be set to be under the cold. Did they like? How did they scooped? How did did they just like figure that out or something? I'm no wait. We actually just lost the game because we milled ourselves out. Because the opponent cheated and set a threatening roar under Cold Wave. Is that what... I think that's what happened. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'm pretty sure we just lost the game because we milled ourselves out because the opponent cheated and, and set a threatening roar while they were under Cold Wave. Tragic. All right, well, maybe we can pull it back in game number three. We, we technically 2 owed them already, so let's just... Let's see what happens. We're milling with Card Trooper. That feels nice. We tribute someone Gragoneth. Special out the Soul of Purity and Light. Drop the Guardian of Order. Yeah, wait. You got Soul of Purity, Cyber Dragon, and Guardian of Order in the Light Sworn deck. I feel like that's a pretty good way to facilitate the Guardian of Order here. We're going to use Compulsory, Bounce the Set Monster, and we just have Lethal there. All right. Okay, this is going to have to be the last Winged Rhinos Abomination we showcase on the channel. Um, this build appears to be on some, like, DD guys. Uh, well, we're doing our standard, like, chain stuff right now. And we seem to be up against Vayu Turbo. So... They actually hit our bottomless with the Raikou? That is so unlucky. It was literally a one in a four chance to hit our real trap card, and they they actually they actually done it. Alright. 
not looking too good. Not looking too good right now. We can summon Winged Rhinos. Okay, we set two cards. Opponent's gonna... They mill a Bayou and a Plague? Ugh. Wait, they're on Merchant in here. But they're also on Karma Cut, so it is not a net deck of the... Was it the Zack build? That was, like, on all this crazy, like, draw power and stuff. Uh, let's see, we hit into Gorse. That's not good. We have some D-Prison, though. We can kind of maybe cope with this. And, oh my god, they're on Zeta. They're on Zeta Vayu? That's so based. I gotta try that. <laughs> Yo, I gotta try that. That is that is sick. Okay, we're summoning another Winged Rhinos. We hit over the Dark Greffer. And we attack with the other Winged Rhinos. Alright, the Winged Rhinoses are, are getting annoying. We can't brain control them. Are we gonna try to brain control? No, we are not. We are just going for Vayu plays. So we attack with our, um, hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have played around Mirror here. I don't know. It's definitely, ah, they could have just, like, stacked for Plague and made Stardust. I don't know, maybe that plays too hard in the Torrential, though. Winged Rhino's gonna attack. Gonna clear the Dark Reffer. We set Spirit Reaper, set Offerings to the Doom, which we play, of course, because Reckless Greed is probably in here. We're going to dodge by tagging out with the Winged Rhinos with the Legacy of Yada. They hit into our Spirit Reaper. They should probably just brain control to kill the Spirit Reaper. Like, yes, please do it. Okay, it's dead. It's dead and we are attacking. Do we get deprisoned? No, we get offerings to the doomed and we chain reckless and we chain jar of greed and we chain accumulated fortune and now we draw five cards. <laughs> That's a lot of cards, I gotta say. Uh, let's see, are we doing anything main two? We're just making an armor master. We go battle phase attack. Deprison gonna be used just to bounce the guy back to the hand. Dark Armed is, like, not even close to live, right? I guess they just want to keep the body for Plague, maybe? We attack. Is there... There's a good goblin housekeeping, and we dodge with the, the Winged Rhinos. Then we chain Goat. Then we chain Accumulated Fortune. Draw. And then the... Let's see. How many... We already had a, a good goblin housekeeping at the graveyard, so we draw two with it. And then we put one back. And now we have some Goat tokens, and Winged Rhinos goes back to the hand. They don't kill the Goats... I feel like they're probably gonna have to kill the goats at some point unless unless you think the opponent's gonna deck out before you i don't know dd warrior lady gonna swing in it gets bottomless okay they try to attack with the winged rhinos we dodge again with good goblin housekeeping this time draw three put one back uh it seems that reckless is over we go for typhoon go for dd assailant crash banish their guy all right they're gonna use the zeta though to start getting some tokens since we since their dd assailant also gets banished by the tedious sailing effect so now we just got these tokens all right putting them in attack mode kind of dangerous they're gonna stack for plague synchro off into goyo pass is that that seems weird to me all right they're dropping sork trying to banish but obviously we're just gonna dodge that um now they go for the other Vayu. we have a mirror force set we just win with mirror force right it's just like jover <laughs> yeah no necro guard no nothing unfortunate unfortunate Going to game at number two. Sad to see Zeta Vayu taking the L there, honestly. Let's see what happens here. We're going to mill, honestly, pretty good. <laughs> this is like the best conceivable merchant that could have happened. We hit a Zeta and a Sirocco. Uh, we get a DD Warrior Lady. Now we summon Card Trooper. Mill three, attack. He maybe should have just set a Raikou or something. Yeah, set Raikou is pretty good against this deck, I think. If they ever swing into it, you can just pick off their back row or whatever, or pick off their winged rhinos. There's, like, nothing they can do about it. I'm going to try to attack with Trooper, but there's a D-Prison this time. Is this Dark Arm just, like, Omega dead again? Yeah, it seems that way. All right, I'm going to swing into the set Raikou. We don't take out the winged rhinos, but we do take out the DD Assailant. We're going to try to swing into the winged rhinos, but they're going to dodge with the Jar of Greed. Now we hit into a token, set pass. They go summon D... Why did we even bring in Deck Dev, actually? Deck Dev's terrible, right? It doesn't hit anything. Is there anything Deck Dev hits? Am I missing something? I don't think there is. All right, we foolish for a Vayu. Vayu gonna be used. Gonna make uh, an Armed Wing. Dark Arm's still just Omega dead. We summon another Vayu. We swing in with everything. The Zeta token's gonna help clear the goats. And we get in directly here. Opponent just draws another winged rhinos. Going to attack into the token. And then we're going to reckless, reckless. Okay, that lets us draw four. We typhoon the back row. Which doesn't get chained. Which, I mean, it would have been worthless if he had chained it. But if it would have been worthless if he chained it, why did you bring it in? Like, 
That's that's the the question. Maybe he just like had it in his main and he forgot to side it out. Is that a possibility? It seems more likely, honestly, than just, like he brought it in. Because like, why would you bring it in? All right, the winged rhinos gets outed. We are under reckless one more turn. We use the good goblin housekeeping. Doesn't really find anything great. We swing in with the DD warrior lady. And because it got banished, the Zetas are going to go off again. So more Zeta tokens for the opponent. Wait, they have two in, in gray, right? Yes, they have two. All right, we draw. We're going to special out a Zeta. That's going to get torrential. And they don't have anything else to summon, so they just got to pass. We draw winged rhinos. Um, should definitely just take it so we can summon the Sirocco. Allure of Darkness, banish the Dark Arm, summon Sirocco, but that's not going to work. We try to swing, but we have the D-Prison to put it back. All right. Uh, what are we just going to get, like, compulsed here? No, apparently we're, we're chilling. We go for Raikou. They chain compulsed, chain winged rhinos, chain accumulated fortune, draw two. Are they going for the Caius on the back row? They are, but they hit the wrong one. Unlucky. Uh, we go winged rhinos attack. Have to use karma cut, but they dodge it again. Um, reset. All right, heavy storm. Good goblin housekeeping going to be chained. And then we just summon warrior lady poke. All right. Winged Rhinos uh, going to attack the Warrior Lady, but that's going to result in three Zeta tokens, meaning we should just lose the duel, right? 1,500 attack. We don't have any way to stay alive here that I that I can see. Unless we Legacy of Yada into Battle Fader. <laughs> I don't know. Burial has now been used. We use Legacy of Yada, it's over. All right. All right. So Zeta going to have the last laugh in that game. Moving on to game number three. Why is the deck dev still in? Bro. Why? Why, 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 why? Okay, we summon Warrior Lady, we chain a bunch of things, we draw like six cards and then put one back, or seven and put one back. So we draw six, basically. And then we take 800 life points. All right, we summon the Winged Rhinos attack. We're going to D-Prison just to preserve our Caius play, I guess, which we will now go for because we just refuse to set Raikou. We chain Deck Dev, which is going to hit a grand total of zero cards ever, I think. <laughs> like, why is it? Why is it in there, man? All right, they chained the Good Goblin Housekeeping to the Heavy Storm, which was used at a really weird time, honestly. Are we going to Raikou the Winged Rhino Snow? We take out the DD Assailant instead. We set another Raikou. They, we just compulse their set Raikou. Okay, well, you're not really close to killing them here, so you're probably going to have to swing into that right. Okay, we're just going to flip up the Raikou because we're dumb. Understandable, understandable. So now the Winged Rhino is going to go back to hand. We summon the Bayou, and we just attack, attack. D-Prison used, and we are going to try to Karma Cut Winged Rhinos. Like, why do you not just wait to Karma Cut literally anything else that can't dodge the Karma Cut? I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. But, like, why do you flip the Raikou? They can't attack into the Raikou. It's like, uh... all right, I don't know. We're going to summon the big dude. Pro presumably, this will just get offerings after we drop Trigodia. 4,200 attack Trigodia. That's a big boy. That is a big boy indeed. We get a soul release, so the entire graveyard is now gone. And this should just be the end of the game, I think. I think, yeah, we draw another Offerings to the Doom, which can just kill the set monster, but we're not going to do it for some reason. Oh, no, it only hits face-ups. Since when does this only hit face-ups? That's so bad. Oh, my God. This card is worse than I thought. Uh, they draw Foolish, but that doesn't do anything. So, yeah. That was... Winged Rhinos takes forever, man. These games. All right. All right. Last... Last Edison format match is uh, Enrise Christia Sworn. Of course, a deck I have played before, but uh, this build's a bit different, I think. They're on, like, Enrise and also Triple Soul of Purity um, and, like, maxed out. Well, I guess... Yeah, they're still on all the Light Sworn stuff, so uh, we'll, we'll see what they do. We're going to set the Recruiter. Okay, we set the Raikou. Uh, we Raikou their set Monster, which is just a, a uni. Obviously, you probably think in this matchup that it's a dupe, but no. It was just a, a poor little uni frog. They're gonna go for brain control. Okay. That was a really suboptimal brain Kaius. And now we drop Gores too, who honestly deserved deserved to be punished there. They're gonna set. We attack. We crash. We main phase two, go for some recharges. It looks like we're on Kaius in here as well. Which I guess is one of our dark fiends. Instead of like playing Phantom or something, we're gonna drop Enrise main two after they T-roared. Uh, we get torrential, which is, you know, not fantastic. We're going to call kind of randomly here. It looks like we're also on Miraculous Descent. Okay. 
Christia gets added to our hand. What's our fairy graveyard looking like? Apparently there was five, so we banish two, summon Sork, bring out the Archlord Christia, and then add back the, the orange light. And then we go for Kai, so then we win. Okay. Well, rough matchup for frogs, to be fair. I mean, it, it is Christia Sworn at the end of the day. So we're going to flip up that Raikou, take out the Treeborn. Unfortunate. Uh, we remove our own friggin' Christia. They go for like a, a Solex Caius, but we just summon back the Christia with the Miraculous Descent and then start hitting in. And they're going to have to deal with our Archlord Christia here, but they have multiple ways to do so. Uh, let's see. They don't fall for the bait uh, in terms of Lilaing the back row. They're going to Geki Break our Miraculous Descent, take out the Christia. The Christia then gets milled. They're going to try to bring back Treeborn, but we have Crow, so no more Treeborn Frog for you for the rest of the game, Mr. Frog Player. Must be rough. We go for the Lila, but T-Roar going to be chained. We're milling cards, but we need to have some, like, win con here. We drop the Enrise. How many fairies does that put us on? That put us on two. Now they go for Karma Cut, so... We can basically just Orange Light something and then drop Christia, but we're actually going to chain Miraculous Descent instead of Orange Lighting the Junk Synchron. Uh, and the opponent just scoops it up because they are out of ways to deal with Christia. I gotta say, Miraculous Descent, pretty cool in this kind of Christia Sworn build. Maybe I should try that out. I, I played it mostly in... Um, I had a build that was just like regular fairies with Miraculous Descent, but maybe the Christia build is, is where it's at. All right, final replay. We got a Goat replay. I think this I might just make this a thing where if uh, if enough people submit alt or I say alt format other format replays we'll tack one on the end. Obviously, I would still prefer to predominantly get Edison format replays because I don't want it to just become a bunch of other formats. Obviously, we still need uh, most of the episode is still Edison format, but you know it just it's just a thing. Every now and then it's fun. Uh, we're resolving Cyber Jar here. What what is going on? Okay, the opponent is playing. A bill it's got jar and desert sunlight it's like some kind of jar thing and then we're playing like gear freed smoke grenade warrior i guess pretty pretty rude deck honestly we're just gonna be we're just gonna be confiscating things with smoke smoke grenade i guess is the plan we activate graceful charity pitch two premature burial bring back don zalug attack over the serpent which was put in attack i guess to play around knock kind of makes sense um and then we hit in. All right, yeah, there are, like, multiple Desert Sunlights. That, there's, like, a lot of weird decks that I don't really know in GOAT. I don't know. I, I, need, I know a fair bit about GOAT, but, like, I'm not super into it, and I don't fully know what's going on here with the, uh, with the Jar and the Desert Sunlight. I know some decks just, like, tech in Desert Sunlight. Like, it's not terrible, I guess. Uh, anyway, what do we, we, we exiled, no, they ringed the exile in standby, and then we hit into the magician, so we actually don't have a way to stop it, they had desert sunlight set anyway, I guess, are they just dead though? They're actually just dead, never mind, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, on to game number two, opponents going for the pot, and they're going to set one of their jars, set card D, they get knocked though, so that is the end of the cyber jar, they still have the other one though. <laughs> They have the other one. We don't have Smoke Grenade right now. So we're just kind of poking with Gear Freed. It's going to get Brain Con. They Tribute Summon Mobius. Hit our back row. Attack for 24. Okay. And then they set Snatch. This guy's really just like setting the spells. I thought people don't usually do that to like play around Breaker. Because getting Breakered for just like a hard neg one is bad. But I guess like you bluff sometimes still. It's like a weird balance though. Because like... If you set a bluff and it gets a breaker, that does feel really bad. Uh, let's see, we're hitting into Spies, which uh, obviously Spy is pretty good in this kind of aggro matchup. We've just got a bunch of 2k walls. We can kill them all with Tribe Infecting, though, so that's fairly efficient. Snatch Steel going to be used on the Tribe now. And this is looking rough. Like, we could maybe Storm here. If, if we Storm... No, we don't Storm. Uh, all right. Well, they don't really want to flip up the Jar in this situation, right? They're just going to drop the Sork attack. Uh, and we have Mirror Force. All right, they add back Serpent. They're on Demon. Yeah, this is just some, like, kind of crazier pile. I don't I don't know. Is it, like, it looks almost like... No, I don't know. It could be anything, honestly. Yeah, they're on Book of Taiyu. It's like, it's like Chaos Jar Turbo. I don't know what the deck is called. 
I've like seen stuff like it before, but I don't know what it's called. All right, they're just poking us with the jar. They're poking us with the jar. We flip our duo. We hit the mind con. They're going to get rid of the book of Taiyu. We knock the serpent. We summon out the exiled force and we swing over the jar. Suddenly we're somehow just in a good spot here. I don't know. It's, we turned that game around pretty good. Uh, they're, at, they're now using mirror force on the exiled. All right. They're using true nade so they can poke with the tribe infecting. And this could potentially be scary if they try to true nade us again. But we have the solemn judgment to stop it. They summon the Koichi, but we have Call of the Haunted. We can bring back Gearfried, the Iron Knight, which is too big for them to deal with here. They draw BLS. <laughs> All right, do they go for the Greed play, or do they go Defense Mode Banish? They go Defense Mode Banish. All right, that makes sense. Uh, we flip Blast with Chain? Huh? Does that do anything? Does this work? I... I I don't know how Blast with Chain works in Goat. I'm going to assume it works. It doesn't read like it would work because it says destroyed by a card effect, and here it's just destroyed by game mechanics, but, like, you can't really... You can't really PSCT in old formats, especially not Goat, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we're going to flip pre-map, or activate pre-map, but we just have... We've won, like, so many ways here, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we have Snatch Steel. We take their guy. We win. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, okay. That was an interesting one. The opponent's deck was pretty... Was well, slightly abnormal. And our deck was also slightly abnormal. Uh, so, you know, kind of interesting. It wasn't just a Chaos Turbo Mirror. So, as GOAT games go, I guess this qualifies as kind of interesting. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I'll see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.